Welcome. If you're an oldie and still rocking with your girl, I appreciate it. So today, as you can see by the title, we will be constructing a wig. No different than my previous wig video. We'll be using this um, hair from Maven. I'll leave the info about this hair in the description bar below. I believe it's their um, Natural Kinky. Um, I'm not sure, but I'll leave the info down below. Uh, we have um, three bundles, 18, 16, and 14. And I believe we also have a 14 inch closure um, that we'll be putting on this wig cap. So I've already began um, by tacking down the closure um, and the four corners. And also the wig cap, I kind of stretched it out a bit because the wig cap tends to um, shrink a little um, as you sew onto it. So yeah, we're gonna begin by sewing down this closure. And as you can see here, I'm not starting at the edge of the closure. I go about a half an inch in and begin sewing to the front and then I'll reverse and go backwards. And here we go. The closure is all sewn down from side to side. And we did the stitches very close because we want the closure to be very secure on our client's head and we don't want any bunching up. So just take your time, stitch close as possible. And yeah. So now we're gonna begin at the base of the wig cap, starting with the 18 inch. This hair, honey, is so beautiful. And it's very, very thick. You're not, um, I'm gonna install all three bundles on this wig cap, but once um, my client tried it on, she realized like, whoa, this is a lot, a lot of hair. Um, so yeah, we just begin by putting the needle and the thread through the weft first and then we begin sewing it onto the cap. Now one thing I did notice about this hair is that the wefts weren't that long, if that makes sense. They weren't as long as normal 18, 16, 14 inch bundles. Um, and I'm thinking that's because the hair is like really, really thick. So in the end, you really don't need that long of a weft because um, the hair is so thick and coarse. So yeah, you can make do with just the three bundles and the closure that, uh, yeah, we got. So here we're just gonna Sew the weft starting at the base, and I did double the wefts for the first two bundles, I believe. Um, no, I didn't. I just doubled the first bundle, and then the second, which is the 16 and 14 inch, I just put on single weft because the weft were a little short and I was trying to make sure we had enough to cover the full head of the wig. So I did not double the 14 inch and the 16 inch. I just doubled the 18 inch. So here we are, we have the first bundle all put in and you can see I spaced it like a finger width and a half apart. And here's that bundle all put in. Um, and I believe at this point now, I am continuing to put the final bundle. Yes, and moving right along, we are here at 
the final piece. And we're just going to sew the wefts right onto the closure, following the outline of the closure from one side all the way over to the next side. And here we're also making sure that our stitches are really close together uh, because you know the top of the head has the most manipulation. So we don't want our wig to begin to fall apart after you know the wear and tear of styling, shampooing and conditioning, flat ironing and all that good stuff that we tend to do to our wigs. So here we're just going to continue to sew all the way around. Here we're at the end of the other side of our closure and I just had like a maybe three and a half or a three inch piece left that I eventually cut off and kind of just stuck in the back um, back part of the wig. I just found a little space and just sewed it all the way down so that we did get all of the bundles in there. And yes, I'm dancing because I am finally done pretty much making this wig and I'm going to shampoo, condition it, and flat iron it and cut the bottom half of the lace. Well, not the lace, I meant the bottom half of the wig cap to expose the lace. Now that we've taken it off the my buddy Samuel, we're just gonna cut the extra part of the wig cap off, and yeah, we're gonna shampoo, condition it, and <clears throat> flat iron it, and we are good for business, boo. I 
thank you guys so much for tuning in for another video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. You can share it with your friends or whoever. Um, if you have any comments or anything, you can drop it in the description bar. I mean, the comment section down below and I will respond. And yeah, until next time, thank you guys for tuning in to Dee's Reality.